What's up guys, it's Dave Marshall with the RC Air Marshall YouTube channel and today we're going to be looking at how to update the X20S. One of the things that I like to do, I like to keep my radio up to date, whether that's FR Sky, Spectrum, OpenTX, Edge TX, whatever the operating system is that's on the transmitter, I like to keep that up to date just to make sure that I've got all of the latest bug fixes and features that were intended to go on the transmitter. If you're one of those guys that's like, it ain't broke, don't fix it, then that's certainly up to you. You don't have to do what we're doing today. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to a web browser and we're gonna download something called the Ethos Suite. If we go over to our browser, we would go to ethos.frsky-rc Dot com. Hit enter and that will take you to the Ethos website from FR Sky. In that second column on the right you'll have the Ethos suite. We want to download the version that's going to work for us. If you want to uh, download the Windows version you just click the Windows button here. If you want to download the Mac OS button you click on the Mac OS version. We're going to go ahead and click on the Windows version and that's going to go ahead and start the download process and it's going to get us that latest version of the Ethos Suite which right now as of the filming of this video is version 1.2.11 that is saying it's going to take about seven minutes so we will be back in about seven minutes so once the download completes depending on where your uh, files from your web browser get placed when you download them for me it's in the downloads folder in Windows and we can see here that we've got the Ethos Suite set up 1.2.11.exe. We're going to go ahead and double click that and install that program. And once it is installed, we'll be able to open that up. Once we've completed the installation, it will add a desktop icon. And we'll just double click on that desktop icon to open the Ethos Suite. And here we have the Ethos Suite. Uh, open and ready to go. Now you'll see uh, the first use guide here has uh, to use the Ethos Suite application with an FR Sky radio. The radio bootloader must be version 1.2.10 or newer. We're going to go ahead and place the radio into bootloader mode to see what version of the bootloader we've got uh, to make sure that it is compatible with the Ethos Suite. And to do that, we're just going to press the click wheel. So we'll press that in that select button and just click the power button just real quick and we can see that we're at version 1.2.11 and that's up here in that upper right hand corner so as long as you're at version 1.2.10 or higher you can use the ethos suite without needing to do anything else I went ahead and just tapped the power button to take it out of bootloader mode so normally when we're powering up the radio we would press and hold wait for it to turn on and to turn it off, we would press and hold and wait for the little countdown timer uh, to power the radio off. When you're going into bootloader mode, like I said, we just hit the scroll wheel. We'll tap that and hold it and just do a quick tap of the power button. And that takes it into bootloader mode the way that we see here. So now that we're in bootloader mode, what we're going to do is attach a USB-C cable from your PC or Mac into the USB-C port on the top of your X20 or X20S, X18, X18S, whichever kind of radio you're using. We're gonna go ahead and plug that in, but you need to be in bootloader mode first. So now we can go ahead and turn the radio up on its side here. We'll open that little rubber door and that will give us access to our USB-C port, which is right here. And we'll go ahead and plug in our USB-C cable. All right, you can hear uh, some little chimes from Windows there where it has recognized that we are now plugged in. And you'll see now that the screen has changed from bootloader, now it says USB connected. Back on the Ethos Suite page, we'll click on the radio where it has X20S. And we can see we've got the update your radios section. Right, and up here it's got firmware version, what firmware are we running, what bootloader version are we running, uh, the SD card audio, so the SD card contents, 
as well as the flash drive and the system bitmaps. You'll see here in the update your radio, we've got all the different releases uh, dating back quite quite far, right? So all the way back to what may be the original release of Ethos. It goes all the way back to 1.0.12. We can actually apply any of those versions of the Ethos suite. What we're going to do is we're going to update it to release 1.3.2. We're going to pick English as our audio language. And what we can do here is at the bottom you'll see that it has update outdated components. So up here at the top your four components are the firmware version, the bootloader version, your SD card content, and your flash memory. So if any of those say that they're out of date and we pick update outdated components and we just hit that little arrow key, it's going to go ahead and update that. Now the other choice that we have is to update just the firmware, update just the bootloader, update the audio or that SD card contents, update the system bitmaps or update all. So if we said just update everything, we hit that arrow. Now what it's going to do is it's going to start copying our SD card contents. It's going to start copying all of the files that it needs onto the radio. And now on the radio, we can see that we're writing the firmware to the flash memory. All right, at this point, it started the Ethos operating system and it is flashing the bootloader. So now we're seeing update successful. We can click close. So what we can do at this point is back on the PC, now that everything is done updating, we can click start bootloader and that will switch the radio back to bootloader mode. Now at this point, we can disconnect that USB cable. We'll just pull that USB cable right from the top and we can just tap the power button to shut the radio down. I'm gonna go ahead and boot the radio back up. So now we're back in the Ethos operating system. Even after updating the SD card contents, the bootloader and the audio files, uh, all of my custom uh, stuff that I added is still on the radio, so it is not a destructive update process, which is great. The last thing I want to check is here on the info page, we want to make sure that the firmware version matches the firmware version that was on the Ethos suite. And that is what we have on our transmitter. It's 1.3.2, and it is the FCC version which is what we use here in the United States. And that's all there is to updating the Ethos operating system using the Ethos suite on your new FR Sky transmitter. If you like what you saw here today, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you're always made aware when we have new videos coming out on the channel. We are going to be having several more videos on the FR Sky X20S and the Ethos operating system. So be sure to stay tuned for all those videos if you want to support the channel, please look at the links in the description and also go and check out our website at rcairmarshall.com where we have several affiliate links in there and when you use those links, any purchases that you make after clicking on those links does pay a small commission to the channel at no additional cost to you and we really appreciate your support. That's all for today guys. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.